Hey everybody, it is Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I'm out here in the garage to talk about, I guess, the big stories in the gun world. I like making these videos when I get a chance, and I'm trying to do it a little bit more consistently. Talk about the current events. And I guess the big story today is Hunter Biden, and I guess having some plea deal for lying on a 4473, and everyone's saying that he got off really easy and got a sweetheart deal. So I want to talk about that and what I think. Before I do, because I want to make sure that I ask you guys this question and you guys see it, I might need your help on something. I'm always interested in other people's ideas when it comes to firearms projects. Now, normally, I like to keep my guns pretty stock. However, I have this Henry X-Series 357 lever-action rifle. Love this thing. This thing is awesome. It's everything I've ever wanted in a lever-action firearm. But I've noticed a lot of people that have these have changed out the handguard and the stocks to some type of aftermarket option. And they have these really cool looking skeletonized stocks. And it seems like there's two companies out there that make them. One's Ranger something, and the other one is Chiseled or something. Something like that. I, I only briefly looked at them online. And they look pretty nice, but it's not exactly the look that I'm going for. I really want something that's really skeletonized, something that doesn't have much here in the center. And I'm curious if you guys have one of these uh, Henry X-Series rifles, if you've kind of upgraded it to make it a little bit more modern 21st century, besides what it already is, let me know what direction you went and if there's any stocks that you recommend and why. And the same thing goes for the handguard. I've noticed that Midwest Industries makes a couple and they look really nice and I've liked their handguards on AR, so I'm assuming they'll be pretty nice on this lever action. But I like something that's a full-length M-lock and has more spaces for accessories and generally just looks a little bit cooler. So I actually feel like I'm going to do what I normally don't do to a firearm, and that is upgrade it with aftermarket stuff. So if you have any ideas for me and what I should add to this or exchange on this, let me know and tell me what your recommendations are so I can go look them up and see if it's the direction that I want to go in. So please help me on my Henry X series lever action. Man, I just love running a lever action gun. They're just so cool. All right, so let's talk about the Hunter Biden situation. Okay, so for those of you who may not know, Hunter Biden, of course, is the son of the current president of the United States, Joe Biden. And in the past, he's gotten into a lot of trouble, I guess both criminally and civilly, and there's all this drama surrounding him regarding the laptop and photos and doing drugs and all that kind of stuff. And we all know he is probably the product of living a very privileged life. And regardless of what we're talking about today with lying on a 4473, I think we can all admit that if this would have been one of Donald Trump's sons, whether it be Eric or Don Jr., the media would be running with this all the time. I mean, it would be plastered all over the news. But because it's Joe Biden... We don't hear anything about it. They cover it up. They intentionally don't report on it like they should. They might give it lip service. They might say, hey, this is what's going on because they have to because they're trying to be a legitimate news service. But they don't do the investigative reports and say how it makes you know their father look terrible and all that kind of stuff. So we already know we're coming from that position that they're going to hide and conceal it. But it appears that he lied on a 4473 because in order to uh, get a gun transferred to you in a 4473, you have to, on that form, say that you are not a user or addicted to some sort of illegal controlled substance. And it came out, I guess, in his biography or autobiography. I guess, I guess that would be autobiography because he admitted to it that he was on crack cocaine. And you guys have all seen the interview where he was so just tweaked out or whatever, where he was even trying to smoke Parmesan cheese during the time that he purchased this firearm. So he lied in the 4473. And Joe Biden has made gun control a centerpiece of his campaign and his presidency. And essentially, he wants to give nobody 
a second chance. Like, even if it is the smallest gun infraction, you should be prosecuted in his eyes. I mean, there is no tolerance. It is a zero tolerance policy. And I get it from the standpoint of we want to enforce our gun laws, right? Now, I have two takes on this, okay? Because I'm seeing some uh, people on YouTube saying that, you know, obviously I would say the majority is that he definitely got off on a sweetheart deal and he should be going to jail. And then I saw today the Yankee Marshal had a really interesting take where he said he shouldn't because if he says that he should, the Yankee Marshal would be hypocritical because he doesn't think the 4473 is uh, something that should be in existence anyway. So my general take is, because I know you guys are going to ask and want to know, is I kind of agree with both. I think in principle, he should not go to jail because the 4473 shouldn't be a thing. And I don't think that people, just because they uh, use certain substances, especially if it's marijuana, should lose their Second Amendment rights forever. Okay? So on principle... Shall not be infringed means shall not be infringed. However, however, we're not talking about principles. Because if we were, gun laws would be enforced a lot differently. You know, we hear all the time about certain people. Uh, I remember a story that comes to mind. I don't remember the woman's name, but I guess she had gotten a concealed carry permit in Pennsylvania. And like most people, they don't understand the laws of various states. And she just thought, okay, I have my concealed carry permit in Pennsylvania. I'm going to go see my, I can't remember if it was a family member or friend in New Jersey. She just lived right across the state border. She went over there. She got pulled over for a traffic violation. And she did what she was supposed to do, um, like in her state. Okay, you got pulled over. You're carrying a concealed weapon. You got your license. Normally, it is polite to inform the officer. You know, keep your hands on the wheel and go, um, sir or madam, I have a concealed carry permit and I have a firearm on me and you tell them where it's at and then you let them decide how the rest of the stop is going to proceed. However, in New Jersey, they have very strict gun control laws and you cannot have a gun on you or on your person or in your car loaded, ready to go, even if you have a permit. And they do not recognize permits from other states. Now, we all can admit this was probably an honest mistake. It was obvious she was not going to the state to commit any crimes, to hurt anybody, and she thought she was doing the right thing. So there was nothing nefarious in her heart. However, she got arrested. And, of course, they, the uh, anti-gun DA, district attorney, wanted to make a huge example of her. I think eventually Chris Christie did pardon her, but after an extended period of time when he was governor. So we hear stories all the time where people get arrested on technicalities or they break the law with no ill intent. You know, they go to New York City and they go to a museum and they've been carrying in their state forever and they just think the laws are the same because they don't know, they're ignorant, and they go up to the person with the um, security magnetic wand and says, hey, I, I'm a concealed carry uh, person. Is there a place for me to store my gun while I'm in the museum? And then, of course, they call cops over. They get arrested and the whole thing, their gun gets confiscated. They go to jail, all that kind of stuff. When there was no ill intent, they weren't there to hurt anybody. Um, they weren't there to, to commit any crime. No, they did break the law. We all, we all admit that. But, of course, you know, officers have the option of leniency, you know, like that officer in New Jersey could have told that woman, hey, we're only like two miles over the border. So why don't you turn your car around, I'll escort you, get back into Pennsylvania, go back home, put that gun away, and then come on back to the state and see your friend or family. Now, they could have done that, but nope, they didn't do that. Because if they're anti-gun and you're pro-gun, they don't give you any leniency whatsoever. And that's why I'm very cognizant of gun laws, you know, um, I don't have to agree with a gun law, but I think we should fight them in the courts. But I think, and I highly recommend the people that you do follow them because the consequences, especially depending on the jurisdiction that you live in, can be quite dire for you, your family, and uh, your friends and all that, your whole life. It can be dire consequences. And there's no tolerance for 
even breaking the smallest law, or having the smallest infraction. So now, let's get back to Hunter Biden. His father, Joe Biden, has made firearms a central uh, policy platform of his campaign and his presidency. And he's always going up on stage talking about this or that, making stuff up. Like, oh my gosh, there's vans going around cities with just selling guns. Or whatever. Or making these crazy claims about assault weapons and 100 round clips, clipazines, or whatever it is. So he is all about punishing people that commit firearms violations and law, and even wants more laws. And the he even wants the punishments for breaking gun laws to even be more severe. So in that sense, I think that he should go after his son and he should be publicly admonishing his son because his son is a prime example of the irresponsibility that of, of, of a certain type of gun owner that should not be tolerated. You know, he, he bought a gun, he lied on a 4473, and I guess the story is his girlfriend or his sister-in-law or whoever she is uh, thought that he shouldn't have it or maybe there was something going on. She took the gun from him without his knowledge and went and threw it away in a trash can right across the street from a high school, okay? So she did steal a gun, okay? So she's definitely guilty of that. And one of the laws that all these anti-gunners want are mandatory safe storage laws. So obviously Hunter Biden did not have his personal firearm safely stored somewhere. So they should admonish him and be, oh my gosh, you're, you're terrible, you're bad, you're an irresponsible gun owner, you're the type of person that allows these mass tragedy events to happen. They should go after him because he's doing the exact same thing that they go after other people or say that they um, do and cause all these, 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 these problems, want to pass all these laws. So the district attorney, who's ever charging this thing, should, should try to throw the book at him and try to put him away for as long as possible and add on all these charges. Because trust me, if it was you, they'd be doing that. Equal justice under the law, right? Now, I think all those laws are stupid, silly, and unconstitutional. So from that principle, I don't, I don't think he should be in that much trouble. But I don't think that it's right that the Bidens are... Uh, are, are showing hypocrisy. Joe Biden doesn't care. He's ignorant of gun laws. He doesn't understand. Everything's a platitude to him. Assault weapons, 100 round clips, you know, uh, hunting deer with a AR-15 or what all those, all those things he says, AR-14s, you know. And he would go after you and he would tell his Justice Department to go after you with energy and fervor if you broke a gun law. He would. Throw the book at you. You are the prime example of what's wrong with American gun owners and why the Second Amendment is so bad and why it needs to be repealed. But when it comes to his son, oh, there's just poor Hunter. Poor Hunter. He, Joe Biden said he's proud of Hunter for owning up to his mistakes. And in the past, he said Hunter did nothing wrong. And Hunter is the most intelligent person he's ever met. So, I think that because of that, Hunter Biden should have the book thrown at him. He really should. If Joe Biden really cared about gun laws, you know, um, he shouldn't care at all. He should be like, my son broke um, one of the cardinal uh, laws in our country, um, you know, because he hates, you know, gun laws are so important. They're, they're up here. You got to pass more and more. And his son broke quite a few. So why doesn't he go after them? So in my opinion, Hunter Biden should not get off easy because you wouldn't get off easy. And I think it's foolish when they say in the media, the people that are trying to cover this up, they say, well, normally people that would get in trouble for this would get off lenient too. That's not necessarily the case. No, I'm 100% sure that there are people that get off with lenient sentences or probation in the case of Hunter, because maybe they live in a state like a Texas 
And let's just say you carry a concealed weapon into a place you're not supposed to, but it is proven beyond a reasonable doubt that you are a otherwise law-abiding citizen. You have no criminal record. You did not intend to break the law. You were just ignorant of it. You went into a place you weren't supposed to have it, and um, you got cited. You know, a judge might look at that and go, listen, listen, you need to, you know, um, learn about gun laws. You need to figure out where you can carry, where you can't carry. You need to really read up on what's what. But you had no intent. Nobody was hurt. So I'll give you probation. Now, I'm sure that happens in states like Texas, okay? Or Oklahoma, or Nebraska, or Alabama, or Florida. However, this doesn't happen in states like California, New York, or where I think this happened, Delaware. Very anti-gun states, you know, or, or Connecticut, or, or New Jersey. They just throw the book at you. They don't care. And so I believe that Hunter Biden and his family should feel the pain of prosecutorial overreach in these cases because other families who are not politically influenced and don't have the money that they do have their lives and their families ruined because of honest and simple mistakes you know, when it comes to gun infractions in New Jersey and Delaware, Connecticut, New York, California. So that's how I think uh, it should happen or what should happen. I don't think that him, you know, lying on that form is as big of a deal as people say, you know, it is. I understand why uh, the form exists, but I don't really under understand if you have to go through a background check, what's the point of the form anyway? You understand? Like, that's what the disqualifying thing is going to be. Do you have a criminal record? But, I mean, if, if you say on that, no, I'm, I'm not a felon, and they look it up and you are a felon or a fugitive from justice, I mean, it asks you on the form, are you a fugitive from justice? If you put no, and then they, you know, look up in the NICS system and it goes, hey, this guy is guilty, he has a warrant out, out for his arrest, blah, blah, blah. They're going to figure that out anyway. The form doesn't stop anything. But, you know, he, he, he did lie. And that is the law right now. And there's my dog, Olive, making a big deal because I think she hears me talking in here. She's probably telling me, hey, get off the, get off the video. You're done. You've gone too long. Because I've gone 17 minutes, 40 seconds. Wow. So anyway, that's what I think about old Hunter Biden. So in, so in principle, I don't think he should be charged. I think he got what I think everybody should get, probation, you know, on this. However, when it comes to the Bidens and what Joe Biden stands for and has made a pillar of his campaign and his presidency, I believe the Department of Justice should go after him with extreme prejudice and go after him and throw the book at him and put him in jail for as long as possible because he broke one of the most heinous uh, laws in the country, according to Biden. So there you go. You know, he doesn't want you to be armed, but he's fine with his family being armed, and getting away with this stuff. So it's crazy that these people that want to take your guns, that are anti-Second Amendment, often are the ones that get in trouble for guns. You know, it's like going back to that group called Mayors Against Illegal Guns, a thing that was started by Mike Bloomberg. There were so many mayors on that list from around the country that had gotten arrested on gun charges. It's crazy. They're the ones with illegal guns. It, people joking called it mayors with illegal guns. But it's all hypocrisy. It's all hypocrisy. And I just don't understand why the electorate, those people that like Biden, would vote for him now. But they still will. And they're still going to run... Uh, defense floor. We, oh, it's okay. It's a small, small offense. But trust me, if it was you, or especially if it was Don Jr. or Eric Trump, man, would they be talking about it. You know, the hypocrisy is just dripping in this case. So anyway, that's that's my take on this. What do you guys think? I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions, and I can see it going both ways. As I said, a lot of people, um, like Coley on the War, think the book should be thrown at them. Yankee Marshall says he shouldn't be in trouble at all. And I guess depending on 
how I feel at the moment and what I think is more important, whether we should enforce the laws that are on the books or go to, a, the, to the Second Amendment principle, I can see it going both ways. And I guess because I don't really have a horse in the race, um, it doesn't bother me either way. But regardless of what happens, uh, I guess I'm okay with it, you know. But I guess it kind of depends on your pil on your political stance at at the moment for me. But anyway, that that's what I think. So what do you guys think? Tell me in the comments section below. I would love to get your thoughts, and we can have a great discussion. So as always, thanks for watching.